Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you very much for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. Last year, I told you that there's an idea that I want to project from the central region of Ghana, which is discovering central region. So I think I'm starting this year, uh, 2023. Now, let me ask you this question. What is Cape Coast known for? Everybody says Cape Coast is the hub of tourism. Yes, a hub of tourism, because when you come here, you find uh, the castles or the dungeons, which you want to call it. Uh, we will find the Kakum National Park. I mean, there are a whole lot of things that you can do when it comes to tourism here in Cape Coast. But talking about accommodation, most people come to Cape Coast, they do their sightseeing, and then they want to go back because they say, hey, Echo, I couldn't find a place to stay. So today, I am bringing you one of the most I don't know the word to use. Maybe I would ask Mr. Atakrati, tell me more about this place, this new hotel located in the middle of Cape Coast. When you're driving from Accra to Takrati, you've heard this junction, Pedi Junction. Just stop at Pedi Junction and ask anybody that you're going to Sudo. Now straight to the point, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came up with the idea of saying, okay, I've got some money, why don't I invest it into maybe farming, into real estate, but I decided to build a hotel, a 32-bedroom hotel in the middle of Cape Coast. Right, thanks, Eko. Um, I've, I've been associated with Cape Coast for a very long time. Okay. Since 72, I've been associated with Cape Coast. And so, when I got the uh, incline to do something for myself and the family, Cape Coast came as a natural choice. Okay. Yeah. Because of my long association with Cape Coast. I, I schooled in Cape Coast at the elementary stage. I went to infantry school. Okay. Did my O and A level at infantry school. So, so when I was able to secure this place, okay. then Cape Coast was obviously the, the choice. Because and I, I've also known Cape Coast, just as you said, as a hub of tourism, tourism yes. in the country. So it came naturally. Okay. Me. Okay. So you being associated with Cape Coast. Your father be here. And then shout out to all them fancy pim uh, old boys. Yeah. Yes, so yeah. you are seeing your, yeah. your mates so doing of, massively. One of your, one of your yeah, one of you, <laughs> yes, doing something massive here in Cape Coast. So right. uh, that is what came into mind, and you decided to build a hotel. Yeah. How, what was the process from acquiring the land to now seeing this beautiful building here? It's interesting. Um, when, when I, when I, just as I said, when I came back to Cape Coast to do a few projects here and there, because we have some hostels okay. at UCC. Okay. I met this woman, very nice woman, called Auntie B, late Auntie B. And then she became a good friend of, my, of the family. I should say the whole family, because she helped the family a lot. And because she, she, was, she had been staying in Cape Coast, anytime I came around, she was able to lead me to various things that I needed. So at some point in time, she offered me this because it was hers and she needed money to do one thing or the other. So she offered it. Um, I considered it, went to see the family and all that, and we all agreed that I should purchase it. So then I purchased it. Okay. But then, when you want to do something, you want to... Now, I wasn't really sure because initially she had wanted to use it for market stalls. Oh, okay. But I said, market stalls for me didn't look too attractive. And moreover, this area is not that busy for market stalls. So why don't I develop it with something else? And so the idea came that maybe I should look at rental accommodation. Okay. But then I also considered that and said, well, rental accommodation sometimes can be very problematic yeah. because people come and live in, tenants. some yeah. tenants can give you a real problem. Yeah. But if it's a hotel or a guest house or something yeah. of the hospitality, in the hospitality space, even the worst of your uh, troublesome customers, they come in within two, three days, yeah, they are gone. Yeah, then they have to go there. But unlike maybe having a tenant who lives there for five years, ten years, and <laughs> Always takes, giving you, you problems. takes you to yeah. red control and all that. So I said, well, hotel probably is the way to go. Quite expensive to build, but then uh, I felt that for the peace of <laughs> mind and everything, the hotel is the way to go. So that's why I changed the whole thing into a hotel. So previously, was it like this story or it was just a flat? No, no, it was, it was, she had only done the foundation. Only the, only, only the foundation. So you put all so these together. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful news. So if you're watching this video right now, maybe you should say, hey, uh, congratulations, you've done well. I mean, putting up this beautiful building here. So we're going to go inside and then show you more of this uh, hotel. Jackie Grand Hotel should be uh, one of your hotels. You should check it out if you are coming to Ghana, 
Central Region and Cape Coast to be precise. All right, so as part of this uh, Discovering Central Region, we are here in Jackie Grand Hotel where we're interviewing and talking to the owner of this facility. But I want us to know, what do we have here currently? So that you'll be informed when you're coming with your family, with your spouse, with your children, wherever, to Cape Coast to have, you know, the best weekend. And uh, Mr. Atokra, so tell us, what exactly do we have in this hotel? What are the facilities? Jackie Grand Hotel is a 32 bed and breakfast facility. Okay. Um, all our rooms are air conditioned. Um, we have a restaurant. Okay. And we also have a conference room that can accommodate about 50 to 60 people. Okay. Uh, our restaurant is big enough for about 40 people at the sitting. And, uh, in terms of space, we are a bit limited in space. Okay. But having said that, we have a car park that can accommodate about 15, 20 cars you can pack here and at the back as well. Um, Security-wise, we have uh, we are on CCTV, so all our, we have cameras all over the place. I think you know we installed something like about 15 or so cameras. I'm still counting because we want to start looking at the frontal, okay. make sure that we capture the front, mm -hmm. so that we see visitors coming in, and how they come in, and how they leave, yeah. and all that. We're also going to have security fencing. Okay. That's uh, um, electric fencing round. Um, so basically, basically that is. So, yeah. Some somebody like me would love to come and then read some metals. You know, get a gym. So do you, do you have any intentions of like bringing maybe a gym or like a, a pool? I know you don't have space for space, a pool. Yeah. yeah, but a gym would have been nice because some of us we want to. You want to show your muscles. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now when yeah. it, when, it when it comes to the meal. Do you serve only local meal or you, ha you, you have continental meals? We serve all kinds of meals. Okay. Um, our restaurant currently is basically for our clients because that's where okay. most of the um, requests come from. Okay. But then we are open to the public. All right. Okay. As the advertisement. If any team wants to come in for a package, any meal of the day, yeah. breakfast, lunch, supper, you're always welcome. Okay. Yeah. And our kitchen staff and give you whatever service that you require. Great. Now, we serve both continental and local dishes. And local dishes. Okay. So there, there, there are a lot of people who, who complain a lot about hotel management. I mean, they go into certain places and the customer service is this, uh, the food is that. What are you putting in place to make sure that anybody who is watching Echo Simpsons YouTube channel will say, Echo gave me a good recommendation, and when I went, I met, we met it. your expectations. Yes, what are we putting yeah. in place? That's, that's why I'm here. Okay. <laughs> um, I should say that I'm a retired mining engineer, electric, oh. what, metallurgical engineer for that matter. Okay. And I should have been resting yes. after retirement. But I haven't put so much into this. I felt that I should be here, okay. at least for the initial uh, stages of the project, to make sure that the place is well looked after. And I come in, I'm not a hotelier, okay. let's say, but I'm an engineer by profession. And um, our standards in the engineering field, especially in mining, are very high. Okay. And so coming here and being here is basically to make sure that we instill certain kinds of um, standards. Okay. Because hotel management, everything is about standards. Yeah. If your standards fall, you lose your clients. Yeah. And so I'm here to instill and make sure that the standards are well maintained. Before maybe I take a back stage. Okay, so and we we are also learning, growing together with the staff. Okay, so we constantly trying to improve ourselves. Okay, every now and then, you come and meet me at the reception. I'll be hiding somewhere in the corner, and I talk to the staff, find out what is going on, what did you do here, what did you do there, and I always give them the encouragement. Yeah, always telling them that. The customers are the reason why we exist. Yeah, yeah. So they should make sure that they take very good care of our customers. And I think so far, so good. Um, I wouldn't say we've had 100% recommendation, but I'll, I'll say that we've had more than 95%. Because most of the customers who come here, when they leave, I, when I'm here, I interact with them and find out how was their experience. And the responses have been very positive. I also go back to the staff and find out what, what, what is happening, what did the customers 
express what their what their, what was their expectation where the expectation met. And generally, I think it's the same 95% or better. We've had a few issues with one thing or the other, but those are minor. Okay. But the good thing is that when we realized that a customer was not particularly happy with something, we immediately work on it. Work on it, and, okay. And fix it, yes. Good, yeah. good. So because that customer, is, that customer satisfaction mm -hmm. is, is key. It's key, it's, it's key, key to every, running yes, every, every business. business. Exactly, yes. exactly. Yes. Yes. I'm very much aware of um, what must pertain in the, mm -hmm. in the industry yes. to make sure that you get your, your customers coming in okay. and they, they get the, the the good reviews that they want. Yeah. So someone is is, is uh, asking, uh, how do we locate um, this hotel? So okay. give us the direction to okay. this hotel. We are on Google Map. Okay. So once you type in Jackie Grand Hotel in Cape Coast, it will lead you here. Okay. But then if you come in from Accra, then basically what you do is that at the Pedu traffic okay. light, you turn left. Okay. And it's about one and a half kilometers from the junction, the traffic light. So I, I'm, 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 I'm very happy because and you are lucky because you, this hotel is located at a point where you don't have to get missing. Certainly, I mean, certainly. all the way from, I mean, it's on the main road, the main road from yes. Accra to Takradi, Takradi yes. to yes. Accra, exactly. and then you branch and then you are here exactly. in Jackie Grand Hotel. We've done a lot of talking. I just want to go inside and then show you how the rooms look like. You said we have the standard room yes. and then we have the exactly. deluxe. Okay. But we are also looking at uh, couching some executive rooms okay. in the very near future. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're we have, going to have a few executive rooms, which, gives, which will give um, our customers a bit of variability in terms of what we offer. Okay. Yeah. So we will have, going forward, we're looking at standard, deluxe, and then executive rooms. Executive. And then also, we're also looking at a situation where maybe you can even modify some of the beds so that when people come in and they want to um, sleep in a room but on separate beds, separate bed. okay. then we can give them okay. separate beds. Okay. So we're working okay. on all that. Okay. I'm hoping that by before Christmas, yeah. all that's been done. Yeah. yeah, and I think you should also have a family room because people come with their families like three kids okay. and they want to be in a big room okay. together. Yeah. yeah, maybe we may have to look at that. I, I know through the work you've been doing, you've met a lot of people, uh, those in Ghana, in the diaspora, Basically, my channel has a lot of diasporas who want to come relocate right. to the motherland. Okay. They want to relocate. Okay. Um, as someone who has worked for this long, mm -hmm. what would you say, what would be your advice to the Afghan diasporas who want to come home and live on the motherland and work, set up businesses and all that? I, th I think the prospects are very good. Mm -hmm. But they need to get to the right people. Okay get the right contacts okay. to make sure that it materializes. Because in any society, you get people who play as middlemen and sometimes they are not truthful, they are into one, you know, yeah. they may have their own ideas. Yeah. But I think the prospects are very good if you get the right contacts and get to the right people to lead you the right way. And Cape Coast is a beautiful place. What? Calm, a lot of prospects. So I would say come to Cape Coast. And a place where you can enjoy, you can enjoy every life. blessed day yeah. without thinking of exactly. Not exactly. anything happening exactly. to you. Exactly. Very yeah. safe, very calm, quiet. Yeah, Cape Coast is a nice place. Great. So that is why we are here today yeah. promoting Jackie Grant in the middle of Cape Coast. So I'll put the contact details in the description below. Or better still, you can just talk to me. Hey, Echo, can you call them book a, book a room for me, two or three for me? I will do that for you. But aside that, I'll put their contact details in the description. Go ahead, contact them. Do you have an email address? And then do do airport pickup. That is one of the most important things. Some people want to come here straight. So maybe we should we, do I mean, airport we, we, we'll liaise with those who are into that. Yeah, I'm into that. Yeah, so we can, we can collaborate. Yeah, so I'll, yes. I'll pick you straight from the airport <laughs> from the board and, and bring, you, bring here. you here. That's fine. You're, right. you're always welcome. All right, thank yeah. you very much for checking.